Hi all, welcome to the new video of Computer Network. In this video, we are going to discuss AA232 interface. We know that many standards have developed to define the connection between DT and DC. Each standard provides provides a model to mechanical, electrical, functional characteristics of the connection. AA232 is an example is an example for this type of interface. It is one important interface standard developed by the EAA which defines the following characteristics of the interface between DT and DC that is mechanical, electrical and functional. Uh, EAA stands for Electronic Industries Alliance. So these are the these three are the characteristics mechanical, electrical and functional. In this interface we have uh, 25 pins each pin slot having separate functions for example pin number 2 transmitted data pin number 3 received data pin number 14 secondary transmitted data and uh, pin number 16 secondary received data i will explain in detail here we have this is female slot and uh, this is male slot so it is originally issued in 1962 as the RS232 standard recommended standard the AA232 has been revised several times in telecommunications RS232 recommended standard is a standard originally introduced in 1960s for uh, serial communication transmission of the data it formally defines signal connecting between a DT such as a computer terminal and a, a DC such as a modem so the most recent version EIA 232D defines not only the type of the connector to be used but also the specific cable and flex and the functionality of each pin see in the previous slide we just explained the pin number 2 for transmitted data, pin number 3 for received data, pin number 14 for secondary transmitted data, pin number 16 for uh, uh, secondary received data. This, these are the female slots and uh, here we have uh, 25 slots, 30 in the above and uh, 12 in the bottom. Pin number 4 request to send, pin number 5 clear to send, pin number 6 DCE ready, data control terminated equipment. Then uh, pin number 8 received line signal detector, pin number 12, 12 secondary received line signal detector and uh, then pin number 13 secondary clear to send, then pin number 19 second request to send then la, then here where we have uh, 20 dt ready now see here we have dt dc interface functions of pins in aa 232 db see i will explain you each and every slot first one pin number 1 for shield pin number 2 for transmitted data Pin number 3 for receive data, pin number 4 for request to send, pin number 5 for clear to send, pin number 6 for DC ready, pin number 7 for signal ground common return, pin number 8 received line signal detector, pin number 9 received reserved testing, pin number 10 reserved testing, pin number 11 unassigned, pin number 12 secondary received line signal detector. Pin number 13 secondary clear to send pin number 14 secondary da transmitter data pin number 15 transmitter signal element timing dcdt pin number 16 secondary received data pin number 17 received signal element eliminating dcdt pin number 18 local loop back pin number 19 secondary request to send pin number 20 dt ready pin number uh, 21 remote loop back and secondary quality detector pin number 22 ring indicator Pin number 23 data signal rate select. Pin number 24 transmitter signal 
element timing DTDC pin number 25 test mode so these are the pins you need to remain that 13 slot configured in the above and 12 in the bottom come together we have 25 slots now explanation the AA232 calls for a 25 wire cable terminated at one end by a male connector and the other end by a female connector the term male, male connector refers to a plug with each wire in the cable connecting to a pin the term female connector refers to a receptacle with each wire in the cable connecting to a metal tube or sheet. In the DB25 connector, these pins and tubes are arranged into rows with 13 on the top and 12 on the bottom. See, electrical specification of this configuration. The electrical specification of the standard defines the voltage levels and the type of signal to be transmitted in either direction between the DT and DC interface. Setting data. EIA 232 states that all the data must be transmitted as logical ones and zeros called mark and space using NRZL encoding known then with zero defined as a positive voltage and one defined as a negative voltage. However, rather than defining a single range bounded by highest and lowest amplitudes, EIA 232 defines two distinct ranges one for positive voltage and uh, other for negative voltage so uh, this is uh, about ea232 interface one more thing i need to explain here we have one term is the nrz nrz stands for non return to zero non return to zero so this is the electrical specification what is the NRZ is the encoded then allowable area allowable area then here we, here we have the time between minus 3 and plus 3 this is the electrical specification so in the next video we will come with the x.21 modems thank you all